Hey guys, happy Thursday. Sorry, it's a little bit noisy out here because it's the only place I could do my video. Um, as you can tell, I'm just trying to hide from my sleeping baby and my husband that's working on the inside here. Uh, so this is my second video about WPPI 2016. If you tuned in yesterday, you know that I was talking about um, some exciting news. I got offered to speak at uh, one of the vendor booths that uh, I usually use, um, it's PCL West, and I will be speaking about um, my boudoir photography mistakes uh, in, that I've learned over the years. So everything from contract terms to posing um, to, you know, making the most out of your time and keeping your costs low, those are all mistakes that I've made over the years and I'm going to include them all in one lecture to kind of help you guys. So make sure you come watch me on Monday the 7th at 1 p.m. at their booth and make sure you check out their awesome albums because I've been using them over six years and I think they're incredible. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about WPI itself um, and just to kind of get you guys uh, prepared to what to expect in case you if you're going for the first time or the second time or however uh, or you know if you've never been and you kind of just want to know what it's all about so WPPI is held in Vegas every year if you've never been to Vegas you definitely have to go at least once and Vegas is awesome for many many different things I think that it changes over time as you get older uh, you know it when you're younger it used to be about the clubs and the drinking and stuff like that but now as you get older it's more about the food and um, I'm so glad that Gardner stopped going, but he's probably going to go again. Um, but about the food and the shows, I get excited to you know go to my favorite buffet or my favorite restaurant um, and just go catch a really awesome show that you have never been able to see before. Uh, conference versus expo. So the conference itself is kind of expensive, so not a lot of people can afford to do a conference all the time. Um, or you know maybe it's your first year in business and you probably can't afford to go to the conference. Uh, but if you are going to the conference, I do say that you should probably make a list of what your goals are this year and kind of what you want to excel in or get better at because um, you know there's gonna be a lot of keynote speakers and there's probably gonna be speakers that you've heard of or you follow online you know like Jasmine Starr or you know Jerry Jonas or or whoever and you might want to go see them speak because you know you're a big fan of theirs but you know they might be having a topic that really has nothing to do with your business or is not gonna really help you this year you know so make sure you look at the schedule and think about what you really want to work on so if you want to work on posing you want to work on marketing you know or you want to work on lighting you go to those specific topics so that way you're really Really making the most out of the time that you have in the conference. The conference itself is a week long, uh, but if you don't have a lot of money, then and you and you can't stay the whole week. You know, I would say you know go the big major days, which is like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which is when the trade show is open, um, and those are kind of like the big days that people are there, um, and it's much more crowded. Um, you'll see that on. Thursday and Friday uh, that it starts to kind of dwindle down a bit uh, and it kind of gets a little bit more deserted and scarce uh, so you know if you can only go a few days you know Monday and Tuesday is probably the best time to go um, it is in Vegas so this time of year Vegas is not super cold uh, it's and it's not super hot either so it's a really good time to go um, so bring clothes that are kind of light um, and comfortable because you're gonna be walking a ton so comfortable shoes during the day is a must uh, and you know bring some party clothes for at night so because the, the because it's held in Vegas there are parties that are associated with the conference itself at night um, so you definitely wanted some dress-up clothes but if you don't have a conference pass it's no problem at all you know check out to see if your favorite vendors are having parties they definitely are having them in hotel suites and all over Vegas so even if you don't have a conference pass you'll be able to still participate in a lot of the parties that are going on at night so bring some dress-up clothes to kind of go with that um, also things outside of the conference you know check out some of the shootouts and stuff like that that's really really awesome and um, definitely something you want to experience at least once you know just be able to have something to blog uh, portfolio building or just to meet other photographers you know they have really awesome shoots that are going on that's very unique to Vegas itself um, which is you know great for your portfolio um, and you know just an overall awesome time kind of like a little field trip um, for you to be able to sightsee and things like that so if you can't afford to go to the conference you can still go to the expo the expo is usually free a lot of the vendors actually give out free expo passes so if you don't um, have an expo pass and you want to get one ask your favorite vendor if they have or giving out free expo passes so you can actually attend the expo the expo is actually really worth it even if you're not going to the conference itself because within the expo um, there are tons and tons of vendors you know all type of vendors that so if you have questions regarding 
albums regarding um, you know what to offer and plus you know they they actually uh, kind of you know put out their latest and greatest for 2016 um, so you get to really see all the new items and things that you can be offering all the new trends that are coming up uh, so that's really kind of in itself just great to be able to go touch and feel without having to buy a whole bunch of samples. Um, and then being able to meet some of your favorite vendors as well. Uh, I know that one of my best stories about WPI is when I went to go meet my vendor, PCI West, and when I went to their booth, they had a really small booth because they're, they're a really tiny album company. But you know, I went to all the other trade show booths, but when I went there, their booth, they asked me my name and what I did, and, and then, then she said, hey, you know what, uh, we have a Tammy too, and she does this and this type of photography. And I said, hey, yeah, that's me. And that was one of the reasons why I stayed with them all these years, because I feel like I'm not lost in a sea of other photographers. They're a small company, they really cater to me, uh, and I really appreciate that about them. Uh, so one of my favorite stories about PCOS is is meeting them at the trade show at the first for the first time. Um, it's really kind of solidified my relationship with them. Uh, and so within the expo itself, there are vendors who have guest speakers. So even though you're not going to the conference, you can catch tons of speakers. And some of your favorite speakers are going to be at the, the booths too. So if you just stick around for the, for the trade show for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you know, and just check your Twitter or check, you know, your Facebook or however, um, you'll be able to find some of your favorite photographers speaking at those booths um, and then getting a lot of knowledge that way just by walking the trade show. So the trade show itself is very, very um, worth it, even if you're not able to afford to go to the conference. Uh, and also, I would also mention that there are two <laughs> trade show uh, buildings. Uh, so I think the first time I went there, I was stuck in like this one building for the longest time and I couldn't figure out why, where people were getting all this other like stuff from um, so there's another building that's right outside that I think is a lot better because all the all the like the, the album companies are out there uh, so just make sure you visit both buildings uh, and not just you know get lost in just the one uh, because there's two of them um, so that's very very important to know yeah so I think that covers basically all the bases of like what I wanted you to know about WPI. I am going to talk to you guys a little bit tomorrow about I don't know what uh, but but something if you have any suggestions on what you guys want to know uh, about the upcoming trade show or the upcoming conference for next week uh, definitely you know shoot me a, a message or leave me a comment otherwise I will talk to you next time. Bye!